Hi there. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm happy to have you here and today I'm going to share an entree recipe uh, that I have called upon many, many times raising my family. I actually have two children. I've got a 25-year-old daughter who's a drill sergeant in the United States Army. Pretty cool because she's like little. And then I have a son who's 23 years old, still in school, sales and marketing, and probably looking at something in the food industry, which makes me really excited and happy. Um, both of the kids were athletes growing up, so I spent a lot of time cooking quickly in the kitchen. So I'm kind of the queen of quick. So today's recipe is a favorite. It's kind of a classic. Uh, everybody seems to like chicken Caesar, uh, salad, chicken Caesar, chicken breast, and that type of thing. What I'm going to do today is a chicken Caesar wrap that uh, kind of takes into consideration different tastes if you will. So it's a really neat way for you to put your own twist on it. Uh, what I'm going to start out with, of course, is the Philadelphia cream cheese. I'm going to get that mixture started. This is um, just one brick of softened cream cheese. To this, I'm going to add a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese. And this is ground Parmesan cheese. We lovingly call it shaky cheese here at home. Next thing I'm going to add is a clove of garlic, although if you're a garlic lover, you can feel free to add another one. I'm going to go ahead and press that right in. Garlic is good for you, you know. All right. Next thing I'm going to add into this is some fresh cracked pepper. Quite a bit, because you know what? A traditional Caesar salad has quite a bit of fresh ground pepper in. So I'm going to kind of coarsely crack this in, about a teaspoon or so. Uh, if you like more, you can always add it. If you like less, that's fine too. Next thing I'm going to add is a little bit of lemon zest because lemon actually will freshen up any type of a salad, but particularly with a Caesar salad, it kind of freshens up and brings some nice flavors through. And because I don't want a lot of liquid in this, I'm going to actually add the zest. I'm going to use a product called a, a microplane grater. You can also use a zesting tool if you have it. Uh, you can also use a kitchen peeler or a vegetable peeler. Just take real thin uh, striped swipes with it and then chop it up real fine and you can get that nice zest in. I'm going to take and just kind of run this over. I'm going for about a teaspoon or so. A little trick that I like to do, or it's not really a trick, but I like to tell people, make sure you wash your fruits um, and vegetables before you cut into them. Um, you know, that way you know that it's, if it's been handled, it's nice and clean. You're ready to go. I'm actually being very, very careful not to press too hard as I'm getting my zest. Because do you see that difference between the zest and the white part that's called the pith? Uh, the pith is actually a little bit on the bitter side, and if you get too much of the pith in, uh, it makes it taste kind of funny. It'll really piss you off. Huh, get it. All right, so we've got about a teaspoon here. I'm going to go ahead and pop that in. Just that little bit is going to give this an incredibly wonderful lemon flavor. All right, uh, the next thing I'm going to add in, I want to get the rest of this lemon in. Next thing I'm going to add is the salt component. Most of the time with a true Caesar salad, you're going to be looking at anchovies. So what I'm going to have you do is put in your choice of three anchovies. I kind of call these um, hairy little fish. It's not, they look like they've got hair on them, but they're actually their itty bitty baby bones. So if you're okay with anchovies, go ahead and chop up and put three anchovies in. Or you could also put in three or four chopped green olives. That'll give it that nice salt component. Or my favorite, and particularly in this recipe, are capers. I've got a couple of tablespoons of capers. And capers are actually the bud, not the berry, but the bud from juniper trees that are grown specifically in the uh, Mediterranean. So I'm going to pop that in. I love it because when you bite into these, it gives it a nice little, a nice little bite. So this is not only acting as the flavoring, for the wrap, it's also acting as a great um, holder or a great binder. Have you ever had a wrap sandwich that you, either you've made or you've had it out and about and they have a tendency to, to open up on you? This is going to give it that great flavor um, and keep the sandwich nice and wrapped. So, okay, I'm going to set that aside. The flavors will mellow a little bit. Then I'm going to take my chicken breast, and I usually use one boneless, skinless chicken breast for every two wraps, so I'll make up a couple here. And these I basically just baked. 
um, seasoned a little bit and baked them all the way through and they have chills, although it's very, very good to eat it warm too. Um, I, you can also use leftover chicken, which is a nice thing too. When I do that, like say I'm cooking chickens as our entree, a lot of times I'll cook an extra chicken breast or two and then call those planned overs. So what I do for this is cut it into nice, long, thin strips, just like that. This has a tendency to fill the uh, wrap really, really nicely. All right. This is going to give me two, uh, three or four wraps, actually. Then you have a choice. I actually love nine-inch um, flour tortillas for this, and you can buy them at all of your stores. Uh, all the grocery stores carry them, usually in the refrigerator area. A lot of times these are called burrito wraps or fajita wraps, and eight to nine, sometimes ten inches. A good good size one with it's going to be an entree size wrap. Then what I do is I take a little bit of the cheese mixture. And you can see with me using the capers, they kind of have a tendency to stand out. And I kind of spread it really thin all the way around. Then I'm going to fill it with a few strips of chicken, just like that. Next thing I'm going to add to this is the uh, Caesar salad dressing. I'm just using a prepared Caesar dressing. If you have a favorite, you could certainly use that too. I'm just going to spoon that on. My husband always teases me because I, I have a tendency to like a lot of dressing or a lot of sauce on it. So he always says to me, you want a little salad with that dressing? So I like it a little bit on the saucy side. This is something that you could tame to, to your taste. So next thing I want to add is some romaine lettuce. It's going to give it the crunch, also keeping in with the Caesar theme. But I want to show you a neat little trick. I have just a regular grocery store bag here that I pulled out of the fridge. And in this, I have wrapped some cleaned romaine leaves. A little trick that I like to use to keep my romaine nice and green and fresh is to buy it at the grocery store, cut off the end, and clean it real well. Either dry it in a salad spinner or shake it. And then I open up paper towel and spread it out on my counter like this. Roll it up just like this. Put it in a bag. Squeeze all the air out. Wrap it up and put it in your fridge. This will keep really nice and crisp for three or four days. Um, and it will also keep that, um, that nice crunch that you like to it. And nice and green. Okay, a couple of things you could do. You could chop this up and put it in, but you know what? For ease and eating, I just kind of like to, to put one whole piece of uh, lettuce on there, just like that, and then top it off with a little bit of fresh grated Parmesan, Romano, or Asiago cheese. This is Parmesan today, which of course is an authentic uh, Caesar type cheese. Okay, I'm going to pop that on. And then, to, to do the wrap, and you can watch and you, you'll be able to see how well this works. Just kind of pull it in nice and tight and roll it just like this. Give it a little hug. That's going to set the cream cheese and cause it to, to hold together really well, which makes it easy to eat. And then if you're going to eat it right away, cut into it and eat. If you're going to be taking it someplace, wrap it up in plastic and then cut it. And check it out. I like to cut it on the bias, just like this. And look, chicken Caesar wrap. I'm going to plate it. A lot of times I'll just have that with a nice little Caesar salad on the side, and you're all set. These are my chicken Caesar wraps. It's about a two-minute dinner, which makes it really nice. Thanks. Enjoy.